Being uh, grandchildren of refugees as an Armenian origin in Syria, it was always for me a uh, question about the memory, you know. Uh, it was al always thinking about the memory, why I'm here, why I'm there, what's happening in the history. And these questions that demand you to search about the pictures. So when I was a child, uh, there was a big book in our home. It was. Uh, so many cruel pictures, violent pictures in the Armenian genocide period. Uh, cutted heads and a uh, lot of very violent pictures, rea real pictures of course, from that period in 1915 and in this period. So my relationship with the images, with the picture, with the memory began to shape itself in this uh, when I was very real child, you know, seven years, eight years are dealing with these pictures so and then I was always uh, looking for films in the TV no comics only films only films even if it's bad film I can sh see it hundred times so I don't know I can answer like this my relationship with cinema began in a very childhood very early childhood and for these reasons you cannot say yeah you cannot answer this question because it's you know it's about your cells your blood is not only your mind is uh, dealing with all this you know your body is dealing with all this so maybe the influence was very emotional because when you are a child you are very emotional so the emotional part of the relationship with me as a child and with the pictures and images uh, began in that moment when, when the emotion and the mind is reacting with each other and dealing and interacting with each other to produce something. So I cannot give an answer how influenced exactly, but I can uh, tell that it's about all the body, how is reacting with all this. So even when I'm trying to do films, when I'm trying to catch the camera, it's not only my eyes or it's the hand, it's the body, it's dancing, it's feeling, it's uh, like you are droning, like you are fired up. It's, it's about whole reaction, about not only mind. Okay. It's, exactly in, it's exactly to the lack, the lack of a starting point and the lack of where to end. This is the idea that came first, you know. Because for me it's very difficult to say why I'm doing a film, how I'm doing a film, for whom I'm doing a film, for what I'm doing a film. So all these questions uh, that making me do something. Uh, and this question led me to do this film that I'm screening now in Torino Film Festival as a premiere. Uh, it's all about the process of life. It's about the process of doing artwork and the process of doing something that it's not a product, it's about life, it's about ourselves, it's about being. It was very difficult to, of course, to have a budget for this kind of films where you don't have uh, ready written something that you are giving to someone to give you money uh, because it's a process and you are, every day you can change in your film and you are dealing with your friends or your actors and your actresses. So it's not about, okay, ready ideas, ready scenario, and I will do that. So they, they don't risk to give you money. So I did all this without money, a uh, few, of, few of hundred dollars, you know. But this thing, very important for us, who do, who do this film, was very uh, important point that you are resisting, you are resisting the mainstream, the main industry of how to do cinema because the cinema cannot be industry. It's art, it can be art. So how I can resist the commercial part of all this market? How I can really resist this? Because if you want to do a film, you only need to a small camera like this and you will do a film. Uh, if 
without money or with money, you know. And without money is more real for me. But I have to live, of course I have to live. So I'm trying to work anything to do a real independent film. And this is a big problem. I think very, so many filmmakers, so many cinema lovers are doing, are trying to do films and they cannot find budget. And this budget matter is really dangerous, you know, it's, the capital is eating us in, 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 in every field of life, you know, in art. They took everything and they turned it to products. Okay, let me see you a product from Syria. They are crying, they are dying. Come and see. No, this is not the answer. We have to move. I cannot move for myself or with my few friends and resist this big thing. But I believe that one day we will resist this and we will uh, give the art its aura, its power again and not be only, okay, I saw this product yesterday and I eat this yesterday and I had Coca-Cola yesterday. Yeah, of course, uh, for me, I am not sure f of any answer. What is a film? What is a movie? What is the difference between these two concepts? Yeah. What is a film? What is a movie? What is cinema? What is uh, performing art? What is video art? Uh, because video art or the film or the movie or the cinema is dealing with the camera. So the camera is the medium. So when you have any kind of footages, for me, in my opinion, when you have any kind of footages, even you are, when you are uh, filming this light, this is a film or not, we don't know. But for me, maybe this is a film when I am feeling something with interacting with this scene, with this picture, when I'm interacting with it, with my soul, with my mind, with my body, any kind of uh, reaction. So this is making something work of art. Beside what is a film, what is an installation. Uh, it's about the per perception, it's about how to perceive all this. This is the, for me, this is the point where I'm searching for, because I really don't know the difference between these concepts and so many big philosophers are thinking about this from 50 years maybe. So, and beside this, I, because I'm trying to be radical in the last 10 years, and especially bef uh, after 2011 of Syrian movements, uh, I became very radical in everything. And this radicalism and this uh, made me to to do some radical things, even in cinema. Okay, I will do this as a film, and I will participate with this as a film in a festival. Uh, besides something different, any yeah, ordinary film or traditional film or narrative film, and this film, uh, let us put this in the concept of our festivals and see what it will produce, just to see what it will result. Uh, actually, I added some sense uh, in, uh, in uh, auditoriums and in, uh, like, in touring because I have a really good relationship with the city and with the festival. And because that building, when I shoot these uh, few pictures, that building has its story and it's built in the fascist era and the fascist uh, period. And I think Mussolini, one of the guys that <laughs> built that building and after so many years you are going there and you are screening your film there and so many people are coming and seeing and interacting with each other. So yeah, I, I, th I thought that that very momentful Photos were very full of energy, real energy, because it wasn't took as, okay, I will took this for this. No, it was just taken in that moment, and it was, for me, full of aura, full of energy, full of real thing. I can say the cinema for me is droning in time. Droning in time without dying, maybe. But it's, of course, something dealing with time, which is our God, I think, our real and only God.
we can see it, we can feel it, we can touch it, it's the time. And we cannot deal with it. It will deal with us like cinema. You cannot deal with it, it will deal with you. Because the cinema is moving your life, not you are moving your cinema. If you are really do, this is what Tarkovsky said to us. I, I, don't, I don't know if I am doing film or the film is doing me or something like that. So it's about time. You know? Of course, Parajanov, one of the most powerful filmmakers that really give me a clap on my face. <laughs> no, you can be free in, when you are doing art. Be, just be free. Uh, just be yourself and just dance with the cinema, dance with the camera, dance with the actors. Dance with the time, dance with the death, of, of also, because he was a really free man, and I like all all the people that I really like. They are the people who suffered a lot in their life. Like Parajanov, he spent so many years in prison uh, for being free and for being uh, free imagination and free soul and free will. So, like Khodorovsky and Alejandro Khodorovsky, but actually, when I am Quoting them, I like to quoting them uh, uh, in a direct way. In my previous film, I quoted two scenes from uh, Alejandro Khodorovsky's El Topo, and I put it in my film. And I just want the people to see that I am not quoting it. I am interacting with him, and I am uh, demand or what to say. I I want his help. I want their help more than their influences. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm.